difference. All right, so HTTP 1.1 builds on the HTTP protocol, which is a very simple request response system, right? So if I'm going to make a request and I expect a response in return. So how does that work? First of all, there all of this goes into a TCP connection. So a client like me, a browser, for example, will establish a TCP connection to the server. It's a stateful two-way communication, but the hypertext protocol uses it as just a request response. So, and here's the rules about request response. You make one request to get an index.html, and guess what? That pipe is busy. It's used. You cannot do anything with it, right? You cannot send another request. As long as your request is processing, this socket is busy, right? Obviously, that is not true because that socket is very underutilized, <laughs> if you think about it. TCP is capable of much, much, much more than that. But that's how it was built. So you make a request, you cannot send any other request. You wait, you get back the document that you requested, right? Whether this is an actual file on the back end or a, 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 requ a REST request to the database to give you some, some sort of a results, right? JSON document. Okay, what happened if I'm gonna send multiple requests? Like, let's say I parse that index.html, I found that I need main.js, CSS, and JPG. Well, you do the same thing. You request main.js, you wait. Once it gives back, right, you make a request for the other file, and so on, right? Obviously, it is slow. So browser says, we have a solution, we're gonna hack this thing. How do we do it? We're gonna establish six TCP connections, and that's what browsers do today. If you use, if your web server supports HTTP 1.1, it actually establishes at six TCP connections, and you are almost oblivious of this. You do not know as a customer, as a user, you do not know that you're actually ha using six TCP connection. You're well, you're visiting a page, and that page makes a lot of requests, right? And, and you make a Git request, and that Git request might turn into multiple Git requests, sometimes post requests, depending on what you're doing. And that obviously goes shoveled down into the browser's code base where they actually is, establish a 60 TCP connection and they just funnel their your request to these. All right, and then it's okay, okay, one is busy, I'm gonna use another one. And that seems to be solved the problem, but still you're working around the problem. What if you have more than six resources to request at the same time, right? You're gonna get the same problem essentially, right? So that's that's one of the hacks that the browser started to do, right? And you can build it as a client, you, if you're building an HTTP client, like a mobile application, you can do something similar to this, but it's very expensive if you think about it. There's uh, uh, um, resource descriptors, being held on the server and there's a lot of memory you wasted really because a single TCP connection you can do so much with it and Google realized that and developed Speedy which turns into HTTP2 so how does this work HTTP2 all right <laughs>